Hello, everybody. Welcome to Messages from Above with Tony Green. I'm Tony Green. Um, today should be a good show. <laughs> well, I always think that, and then well, here we go. Let's find out, right? So um, it's been a very, very interesting March so far. I had to take a moment and figure out what what month are we actually in, and it's it's March. So kind of happened this past year, right? Like I read a meme on Facebook that a year ago, this was the last normal week for a year. <laughs> and we never saw it coming, right? We never had any idea this is what it was going to be. And we're all just kind of sitting and waiting. We think we're going to wake up one day and everything's going to be back to normal. And that's just the general hope, right? And it is, it is that we're going to wake up and we're just going to be able to go out and everything's going to be good again. And in some states, thank you, Texas, Florida, a few other states, that's already starting to happen. Hopefully the rest of the states will fall in order, or follow that. We'll have our freedoms back. We'll be back um, in that place where we're just able to get up and go and live our lives. We were born to be free. We were, we came here to, um, to expand and explore and to live in a way with no bounds in, in, in a certain way, um, to live in a unencumbered way, if that makes sense. I hope it does. I hope that makes sense. Um, so having said that, okay, I'm going to get into the show in a second. I'm using YouTube to record for WSCS, um, my TV show, Psychic Medium, Tony G. And I'm using Blog Talk to take callers. So if you are on YouTube listening or watching, you can call in 845-277-9131. I'll be happy to answer any question for you. Unfortunately, I won't be able to... Um, respond to the YouTube chat part because I'll be on the other screen with um, blog talk uh, monitoring callers and answering questions there. But after my show last week, I did realize there were people from all over the world um, listening in or watching in on YouTube. And thank you very much. I really appreciate that. So here we go. I'm going to switch over now to the blog talk screen, but I'll still, you'll still be able to see me. Um, and the first caller is 610. Hey, 610. Hello? How are you? Hi. How can Hi. I help you? Thank you so much for taking my call. Absolutely. How can I help you today? Yeah, um, I wanted to um, see what you've been up surrounding uh, my present job. Um, I've been there, I'm going to be there almost four years now. I like it so far, but um, I wanted to grow and expand and see if you're picking up anything for me. Here, any promotions or anything like that. Okay, so uh, the first the first word I hear is stay. Uh -huh. Stay, stay, stay. Um, which, if I had to guess or anybody else would have to guess, would just mean you're not going anyplace anytime soon. I do feel like I, I know you're very antsy and you want more um, if for no other reason than to just want more. Um, I think you're going to, in about a week, that feeling of wanting more that feeling of uh, that antsiness is going to calm down. Let me put it that way. I feel like in about a week that that antsiness, that little bit of anxiousness is going to calm down. And it's actually, I want to say this position is a pretty good position and for you at this time. In about June, something's going to come in and it's going to be very, very good. It's going to be very good. It's going to be something that changes the dynamic of your life. Now, I know, I know, oh my God, I love when this happens. I don't think this is about work. I don't know. It could be about work. Um, 
but in June, something's going to come in and it's absolutely going to change the dynamic of your life. And I have like the biggest smile on my face. I have all this really um, like, oh my gosh, this is such a good thing. Now, I don't want to overstate this. This is just how I'm feeling it. And maybe I'm feeling it a little bit over the top because they want you to know it's something that's going to change it for the better. This Whatever this is that's coming in is totally going to, um, okay, it's, it's going to bring it full circle. It's going to bring it full circle. That's what they're saying. Now, if I, I'm not going to even try to guess. I'm not, I don't want to try to guess what this is. I don't want you to know. It's kind of like that surprise element something that's going to catch you off guard, take you by surprise. And I feel like whatever this is, um, it's good for you. And <laughs> for what it's worth, you should say yes. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so that's what I have for you today, even though it kind of, this could be work related, or it could be something else related and I know that seems very vague but sometimes they don't give information because it's kind of supposed to surprise you so I hope this was helpful for you okay all right thank you you're welcome thank you okay I'm gonna go directly to the next caller but before I do just in case I don't get to this caller um, and I know it's somebody that's listening right now, or ugh, I'm so sorry, like all of a sudden I go on camera and <laughs> there's like a hundred calls in my, <laughs> in my phone. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get through to this caller today. Um, but what I do want to tell you is, um, for who's ever listening or re-listening, I, um, there's somebody on the other side named Jeff or Jeffrey. They refer to themselves as Jeffrey or you referred to them as Jeffrey. And there's been a lot of concern about whether this person has transitioned fully or if they're okay. And I, I feel overwhelmingly um, emotional with this situation, but all morning I've been hearing the name Jeffrey, 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 Jeffrey. And I think somebody All they're saying is, it's okay, I'm okay, it's okay, I'm okay, it's okay, I'm okay. And then the next statement is, it's going to get better. It's going to get easier. So whether you're on the line now trying to get through to ask about this loved one, or you're listening later, and let me say, Jeffrey could mean that your name is Jeffrey, and they're connecting with you to let you, hey, Jeffrey, I'm okay. Or, hey, it's Jeffrey, meaning the person that has transitioned. And transitioned for me just means they've gone home, like to what we call heaven, the all that, the all that is, the oneness. They've completed their life cycle, their physical, physical life cycle. Um and and then now this really big sense of peace. So for whoever that is for, I hope that it brings you peace and that you um, know that this person has transitioned and they're okay, And but they're very sorry with the remorse that you're left with. Okay, now I'm going to go to 312. Hey, 312, how are you today? Hi, my name's Karen. I'm calling from Chicago. Hey Karen, you're my you're kind of my neighbor. I'm in Wisconsin. Oh wow, cool. Okay. <laughs> how can oh, I good, good. How, how can I help you today? Um, my question is is that um, I live in a large building and my landlord apartment building and my landlord sold the building to a contractor group building group and um, I, I believe I'm going to be having to ask to be moved. And I'm just wondering if you see the month of June or July favorable or earlier favorable for me to move. Actually, um, yes, I think you're going to choose to move. I think it's going to be a choice that you actually make based on some things that they're doing. Um, so this might mean that like 
you're gonna, uh, they might decide to raise everybody's rent a lot or what, whatever that is. But I feel like, even though you said uh, June, July, I hear August. Now this can mean that you move, you you oh, okay. move in July and August. You're in your new place, but I hear the month of August. So either you're gonna move in the month of August or you're gonna move. You're either you're going to move in the month of August. You're going to be moved in the month of August. This could mean, um, this could mean you're like August 1st, you're in your new place or August 1st is when you start moving. Whatever this means, August is a big month for you. Now, what I want you to know, and it's really important for you to know this, don't, don't fear this move. Um, somebody up above, is bringing in somebody up above, somebody who's looking out for you on the other side is bringing in um, this new place with a, oh my goodness, a whole new energy. This new energy is just unbelievable. It's like really bright, it's really good, it's really strong. A really strong, like almost angelic energy in this new place. Okay. So this is all being done by divine guidance um, to get you into a place that's going to help you be more in alignment with some of your goals, some of what you want. Now, the other thing I'm going to say is what I'm hearing from your loved one and angels is that don't be desperate and just take the first thing that comes along. There's going to be something better. Um, there will be a little hiccup, like maybe your lease ends at this time or, you know, you thought you wanted to be out or in the new place by this time. Go with the flow. The biggest thing you can do right now is go with the flow. Do start looking now um, just to get an idea yeah. of what is out there and how it's going to look. But don't get frustrated. Your place is going to come exactly okay. when it's supposed to. And you'll be able to get into it exactly when you're supposed to. Okay. Um, there is a thing about being in alignment with not only, okay. Oh, I love you. Thank you so much for calling in today because this gets me to be able to segue into this little energetic uh whatever thing when we are asking for this partner that we want we get where we are we we get a reflection of ourselves and when we're asking for a job we get what we think we deserve and the pay we think we deserve in a job and in looking for a place to live we get where we are so between now and the time that you're getting ready to go spend a lot of time um like raising your frequency or vibration or your energy, strengthen your energy, strengthen uh, who you are, what you are, what you want. And then when, when you find this place, you're going to be in perfect alignment with the energy of this place. I always tell people, if you just broke up and you're down and out, don't find a man because you're going to find a, or a woman or a woman relax folks because you're going to find a down and out man or woman if you're trying to jump to the next place saying i'll show you you're only showing yourself so if we're moving and we're afraid and we're desperate we're going to end up in that energy and i feel like the next place that you end up in is a little bit smaller of a complex like maybe like I want to say it it's a multi-unit but it's a small multi-unit and it has really good neighbors in it really good people really good um it's almost like kismet the feeling i'm not jewish folks i'm sorry and i don't i just love that word and they bring it through me all the time it's like kismet which i do believe is like magic it's like magic it's like that sort of meant to be and listen places that we can live can be as magical and in alignment as 
um, partners and jobs. If you're in the right work, if you're in the right partnership, if you're in the right home, it's it's a good feeling. It's an uplifting feeling. Every time I walk in my sister's house, I just like kick off my shoes and I'm like, ah, I'm home. I love this place. <laughs> um, her energy in her house is so awesome. But she has kids running around and always cooking and got that sister thing going on, you know. So, um, okay, back to you. That was a really long turnaround. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But I think you get you know, sometimes the analogies they use, they're for you and everybody. Um, you get what they're saying. Get yourself get yourself to who yeah. you want to be and where you want to be. And then that absolutely 100% perfect place. And I feel like it has big windows and lots of light coming in. And that's like, that's like okay. an absolute for me. I love windows and light and I have lots of plants that need it. So, so please don't settle is the big message. And second, uh, believe in divine timing for this. Um, don't force anything. Allow it to come to you as it's supposed to. Okay, beautiful. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I'll let you know. I'll, I'll keep in touch with you. Thank Absolutely. You. I can't wait to hear back from you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. I'm going to go to the next caller in a second, um, but I haven't done this in a while, so I'm going to promote one of my books because <laughs> I always forget to promote them. I'm like the worst promoter of myself for sure. Um, what if a transformational journey, which is... Um, it's really a good book. <laughs> That's how I promote myself right there. It's really a good book, and you should think about it. <laughs> the link for this book, and all, I do not drink before my show. I've been asked that a couple of times. I do not drink before my show. <laughs> um, this is just me. I am I am a goofy, goofy person for sure, especially when I channel and I'm working with angels. Everything should be light and fun and happy. And I'm going to do our first clearing of the day because I did not do one yet. Um, let's see. What should we clear? Oh, ooh, that's a good one. Self-love. I hear self-love right away. But you know what? They say self-love and I'm saying inner demons, like those toxic, negative, repetitive patterns that we all hit. We're going to do that first, who? because that's a biggie. Like we all go through these cycles, right? We, we, let's say job, work, whatever it is, and we go through the pattern of it. We come full circle. And we're like, I don't ever want to go through that again. And then boom, here we are chugging through the sludge of it, going through that again. So let's clear those toxic patterns and, um, Oh, sometimes when I clear for people, I like feel the sludge coming up and toxic energy coming up. Even if I'm clearing, clearing with other people, that coming up just hits me kind of hard. Okay, second, we're going to clear self-love because if we love ourselves, we don't settle. We're never settling for, you know, that pay that, that puts us at that point where we're just making it or that person that is breadcrumbing and ghosting us or that um, a job where it's a good job, but our boss is not the best boss we could have. So we're going to clear. Um, uh, and this is good if you're listening or re-listening. And if these two things are really um, prevalent in your life, Re-listen to this until you don't have any feeling. You know, you know when it's gone. You, you'll you know when it's gone, but listen to it until it's gone. Because these are huge things. So um, we have self-love. I get a no, so we're going to clear that. And then um, we'll do another clearing after the next caller. And excuse me, I'm going to lean in to see the first three numbers on this. And I believe it's 919. Hello, 911. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for taking the call. And I do love your energy so much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank
Thank you. Thank you so much. How can I help you today, love? Um, well, I was just listening and so much of what you're saying is so on point for me. So I think I just, I, I'm needing to have some level of peace in my home. Um, I'm just wondering how do I, when will that, that peace or this come to my living space? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, and thank you so much, because every week I think, oh, I should have done this. And then guess what? I forget to do this. So let's clear everybody's home. Okay, because it, in some states, it's been winter, and we are not opening our windows. <laughs> no. Right, we got them right. locked down. Right, but right. even, you know, in other states where it's not winter, the windows are shut, the AC is running. So we're just kind of, you know, the, uh -huh. the air in the home gets snake stagnant. If there's been disagreements, it gets yeah. toxic. Yeah. So um, our homes are yeah. clear. Yeah. I get a no. So I'm going to just, and I, I suggest this show, um, like or love or whatever you have to do on this show and run it once a week to clear the energy in your home because, oh, and the, our Wonderful. homes are unclear. Okay, so let's clear that really quick. And again, like depending on how long this has been going on, it can be really some thick air in our homes is the way I'm going to put it. Yeah. Some, like cloudy. Yeah. Yeah. I always compare it to cloudy yeah. instead yeah. of um, sunshine. So here's what I'm also going to say. I know some people say burn sage. I say do not burn anything in your home. Not sage, not that grass, not anything. If you feel the need to use something, get a water bottle, put water in it, and then use essential mm -hmm. oils like frankincense or um, orange. Orange is uplifting. All the citrusy ones are uplifting mm -hmm. and brightening. And then go through your home and just spray it because water definitely dilutes thick air. And if you're using a an, an essential oh, oil wow. with okay. it, and if you're using an essential oil with it, you're going to notice that it's breaking up like that. Now, smoke, what does smoke do? Smoke clouds things. And it's really, yeah, it's so bad for your lungs, too. So don't, like, if, if you're okay. somebody who recommends people burn sage, you do you. You're good. You do that. But I say save your lungs and spray some, like, some... I love the smell of frankincense and clove together. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So get those two, shake it up, okay. and then spray it up through your house and watch the difference, okay? And you can use different scents okay. in different okay. rooms. You can use, like, um, lemongrass in the kitchen and orange in um, the bathroom and... Um, in the bedroom, I love to do lavender because I want that to be relaxing, but I still want yeah, the air yeah, to be nice yeah. and fresh. Lavender, so th yeah. That's what I would recommend. And yeah. also, somebody from up above, and I feel like I'm hearing a name, but I'm always nervous to say it when I'm talking to somebody because if I'm wrong, then everybody will say, oh, look, she doesn't know what she's talking about. Um, but th yeah. there's somebody up above, and I feel like this could be a grandma. It's a, a grandma or an aunt because it's somebody who's who was a little bit more mature when they passed on, and they're saying, um, <laughs> excuse this, the way I'm going to say it. Um, uh -huh. And they're okay. saying, child, you just need to make a decision. You need to make the choice that's best for you. You need to stop worrying about other yeah. people. <laughs> and you need to make that decision that makes your heart happy, that makes your, your soul soar. Because this is your life. And you're basing it on somebody yeah. else's trifling behaviors. And I... Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so, yeah, that was... Yeah, I know. I know who that was, and I don't know. Yeah, and I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, they yeah. will take up the whole rest of my show to tell you. You know yeah, what you yeah, need to yeah. do. You just they're saying, listen, you need to do better for you. Don't worry. There, you know, we say we stay because we don't. You know, we we have hope. 
that it's going to go back to, it's going to get better. It's good. But sometimes if we want that, the dream, I said this to a client and a friend a, a couple of weeks ago, the dream is still there. You're just not with the dream person. And we haven't realized that yet because in the beginning, this seemed like the dream. In the beginning, this was like, uh -huh. oh my God, this is my dream come true. This is everything I ever wanted. But then as uh -huh. we were stepping uh -huh. step by step by step by step, we realized, oh no, maybe, well, it'll go back uh -huh. to what it was, but it never, it doesn't go back to what it was. So we, we have to realize our dream is right. still there. They're just saying like, pick a new, and I know it's not easy. I know it's it's not easy at all. Uh -huh. And I just I'm I'm not saying uh -huh. this is about you, but sometimes the bad energy we have to get rid of is another person. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying okay. that, that's Very not, true. they're Very not true. bad. Very true. Very true. They're not a bad person, don't get what? me wrong. It's just it's come to a point where um are there more good days or are there more indecisive days? And happiness is found yeah. in our heart. And if our heart is, is in conflict and our mind is in conflict, we need to make that choice that puts us at peace. So having yeah, said understood. all of that, I want to say to you, I'm going to do one more clearing mm -hmm. because you're on the line with me and I, I know I kind of, I think every person has been in that place where, you know, we just have to make a final choice. So I'm going to say we're able to move forward. Um, I get a no. So we clear that. We are stuck. I get a yes. So we're going to clear that. And this doesn't necessarily mean we are, we're going to be forced to let something or someone go. It means we can have a clear mind to do that. And the last thing I want to say while, while you're here with me, and um, I think I say this a lot. Um, every relationship is a reflection of something inside of us. It's a reflection of what we love about yeah. ourselves, and it's a reflection of what we need to heal. And if we're in that uh, teaching phase or look at this is what we need to heal, I always say, okay, first I'm going to work on this with me, and then I'm going to look at if the situation gets better. So whatever is going on, if it's a repetitive pattern from a person prior and prior and prior, really go with this. It usually starts in childhood. I'm just saying it for some reason it starts in childhood. Yeah. Yeah. And then from there we have to, um, we have to, um, you know, heal that whatever it was and then go from there okay thank you yeah. so much for calling in i hope this was so helpful for you and please thank you so much. you're thank you. so welcome was, thank you i appreciate it absolutely and please call back and keep me updated on how how your homes feel if if i did the clearing and you notice a difference in your home and usually the difference you notice in your body and in your home is it just feels lighter and that's how we're supposed to feel so light, like we could fly. That's how we are supposed to feel. So what I want to say to everybody listening and re-listening, thank you so much for joining me today. I am grateful to have you here with me. I want you to know that you were you are here to make miracles in your life. You are here to create and co-create the life that you want. So take every step you need to take to make that happen. Until next Monday at noon central time, have an amazing week.